Thank you for joining us today. In this video, we'll be going over a typical Connectware Hospitality phone system installation. Walk into the property and check in with your remote support agent. Introduce yourself to the hotel contact and ask where our new equipment is that we ship to the site. Once we locate our equipment, take an inventory of everything on the work order and ensure everything is there. Next, we want to locate the telecommunications closet. Locate the ISP modem using the red patch cable sent. Verify internet connectivity using a laptop. Locate the Microtech router, connect power supply, and patch port 1 of the router into the ISP with the red patch cable. Verify that you are able to surf the internet off the router via port 2 of the Microtech. Check in with your remote support agent to verify the router is online correctly. Assemble the PoE switch by putting the rack ears on the device and securing with provided screws. Attach power cable to the PoE switch. Power on the PoE switch and connect it to the Microtech router. Port 2 of the router to the last port of the switch. Next we will go to the existing console phone at the front desk and try to pull a database. Your remote support agent will be able to help if you are not familiar with the existing system. Pull all extensions out of the database and write them down. The goal of doing this is to reuse the existing Amphenol cables and not have to move individual jumpers. Identify and label Amphenol cables and 66 blocks. If we sent a rack and are not using an existing rack, build the rack that was sent. Walk to each common area phone, pool, lobby, elevator, etc. and verify extension numbers and dial tone by calling the front desk. Next we will want to get a phone working at the front desk. Verify CAT5 or CAT6 jacks on each end of the cable.
there is an analog phone currently in place where the new IP phone will go, you will need to put jacks on both ends. Assemble the Grandstream phone. Patch the phone into the PoE switch. Dial 933, Emergency Services Test, and verify that the phone number and address are correct for this specific property. You should hear a message that says 911 services are active. Your 911 service is active. Boom. Check in with your remote support agent and have them trigger the porting of the numbers. Test inbound and outbound calls from the working phone. Label amp cables and you will know which one to take to the gateways when you are ready. Power the old system down. Make sure you have the amp cables labeled. Remove the amp cables and proceed to take the old system down. Your new rack will go in place of the old system. You can remove the old phone slash console at this time. Try and mount the rack in the same spot that the old system was located. Screw the rack into the backboard. Locate the battery backup, unbox and connect the battery. Take the back cover off the battery and connect the red terminal. Place the cover back on the battery. Mount this to the backboard close to the rack and connect to power. Connect your rack mount PDU to the battery. The new device will all plug into the PDU. Mount the provided shelf in the rack for the Microtech router and any other small devices. Place the Microtech router on the shelf in the rack and connect power to the PDU. Mount the PoE switch in the rack, connect power to the PDU, and verify connection to the router. Our next step will be installing the phone suite gateways. You'll want to assemble the gateways by attaching the rack ears, power cable, ethernet cable, and the included velcro attachment. 
The 48 port gateways are connected via Ethernet 0 or 1, and the 24 port gateways via Ethernet 1. Ports 1 through 24 on the 48 port gateway are located farthest from the power switch, and 25 through 48 located closer to the power switch. Most systems will not have the correct amp on them already. Use the male to male amps provided to change the gender. Label accordingly. Secure the amps on the gateways using the provided Velcro tie down. Mount the gateway to the rack. Ensure all cables are plugged in and make the cables look as organized as possible. Verify all equipment has power. Connect the male to male amps with the existing amps from the old system. Check in with your remote support agent to confirm everything is online and registered. Verify that the dial tone is being provided to the 66 block from the new gateway, and the extensions are the same. Dialing 888 from the new phone suite system will read the extensions back to you. In the case that the old system was not a system with a 24 port cards, you might want to have to move a few jumper wire. Locate the phones that need to be moved to make it compatible with the new gateway. Your remote support agent can help you if you are confused. Get a master key and a vacant room list from the front desk agent. Proceed to check the phones in the rooms, dialing 888 to verify extension number. Also, you will need to perform a 933 test from one of these rooms. Show the front desk and any other applicable staff members how to use basic functions of the phone. Take good pictures of the phone system and the telecommunications room to send to your remote support agent. Have a property contact sign the work order. Take all empty boxes and trash out to the desired location specified by the property. Call and check out with your remote support agent. Thank you for watching our tutorial on how to install a phone suite connectware hospitality system.